Shut up and sit down. Big screen 2-in-1 laptops, the target of the shopper who wants it all, often come with trade-offs. Consider the HP NVX 360, a convertible notebook with a slick look, a huge, 15-inch display and sweet sound. Unfortunately, its screen is quite blah, its hinges are weak and its battery life is short, even by the admittedly low standard for large notebooks. Still, this notebook offers a decent number of perks at a price that's more affordable than most of its competitors making it worthy of checking out. Design The NVX360 is made in silver, Intel, and black, AMD, designs, and features the sleek design aesthetic that HP keeps exclusive to its mid to high-end laptops. The black AMD model is cooler and more distinct, while the silver design will get lost in the field of other PC laptops. While it's easy to rotate the NVX360 screen from laptop mode to the positions for the stand, display in tablet modes, I found that the 360 degree hinge is too loose. When I tapped the screen with my finger to use its touch screen, it shuddered and shook at each press. Weighing 4.7 pounds and measuring 14.2 x 9.8 x 0.8 inches, both models of the NVX360 are heavier than the 15 inch HP Spectre X360, 4.2 pounds, 14.0 x 9.9 .9 x 0.7 inches, the Dell Inspiron 15 7002 in 1, 4.5 pounds, 14.2 x 9.6 x 0.7 inches, and the 15 inch Lenovo Yoga 720, 4.6 pounds, 14.3 x 9.5 x 0.8 inches. The NVX360 notebooks split their dual USB 3.0 ports between their left and right sides, with an HDMI port and headphone jack also on the left side. A USB Type-C port, non-charging SD memory reader and power port also sit on the right side. Display While each NVX360 renders a clear picture on its 15.6-inch, 1920x1080 pixel screen, each panel is hurt by block color and low brightness. Watching the Avengers, Infinity War trailer on the notebooks, I admired how crisp the spidey sense raised hairs on Peter Parker's forearm appeared but noticed that Steve Rogers still looked like he was in the shadows, even after he emerged from them, the purple had drained from Thanos' noggin, and that the green color of the trees of Wakanda seemed muted. The Intel version of the NVX360 produces 77% of the sRGB spectrum, making it equally as colorful as the Inspiron 15, 77%, and better than the AMD model, which produces 67%. Neither Envy could match the mainstream notebook average of 102%. We also recorded higher ratings from the Yoga 720, 114%, and the Spectre X360, 130%. The Intel Envy X360 emits a paltry 186 nits of brightness, while its AMD counterpart maxes out at a shockingly low 128 nits. Unsurprisingly, this leads to screens that need to be viewed head-on as their colors darken significantly from 30 degrees to the left and right. Both marks fall below the 253 nit average. The 247 nit Spectre X360 and the 272 nit Yoga 720 are brighter, while the 148 Inspiron 15 sits between the two Envys. At first, the responsiveness of the Intel Envy X360's touch screen was unreliable and required a heavy touch when it actually did work. Fortunately, I fixed this by downloading the HP Consumer Desktop Notebook PCME firmware update. Once applied, we experienced smooth sailing and speedy reception of swipe gestures.